RKO the infamous NWO back with another video doing my Monday Night Raw review three hours special Mr. McMahon returns I'm recording from my webcam because I don't feel like recording and uploading through my flip cam which takes about two hours because my internet is so damn slow and this video will probably be 15 minutes because we have a lot to recap for this go home show to Monday Night Raw. So let's get started off with Mr. Mc... Well, John Laurinaitis is coming out and saying he's done a great job and people power and Mystery Man comes out and uh, calls out John Laurinaitis for all the stuff that he's been doing for the past couple months and all the wrong action he's been doing and uh, hiring Big Show with the ironclad contract causing WWE to have two lawsuits on their hand due to Brock Lesnar and even ha hiring once hiring uh, the wrong one-legged wrestler which is a true story but whatever he does tonight on Raw will has determine his job after all and he must put on quality matches Sheamus comes out and saying saying that uh, nope he is not a great, well, he is a great person. He's fined wrestlers for $500,000 for hitting a referee and bumping into him by accident. And um, since we find out that Alberto De Rio is out since due to a concussion that he suffered last week on SmackDown, that he will be not at No Way Out and there will be a new number one contender to be crowned. And uh, John Laurinaitis had to pick Sheamus opponent, opponent which was next. And that opponent was Big Show, I mean, sorry, Lord Tensai. Um, I'm on the uh, WWE.com, I just got, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, so we got Lord Tensai versus Sheamus, and um, pretty good match. Overall, uh, Lent Lord Tensai actually got a lot of offense in, and uh, if you give Tensai minute, couple minutes to work, he actually worked a pretty good match with Sheamus, and but Sheamus got the bro kick and got the victory, and then Lord Tensai beat up um, Sakamoto, and that was the end of that. And then we got the next thing we got. Why is this not showing the stupid thing? Rodriguez? Oh, no, that didn't even happen yet. Ugh, WWI comments screwed me up. Okay, we have a match between Ricardo Rodriguez and Beth Phoenix versus Layla and Santino Morella. And this match was whatever, a comedy match. We haven't seen Layla in two weeks. We haven't seen Beth in two weeks. We haven't seen any of the Divas in the past two weeks on Raw or SmackDown. And um, this is pretty your normal comedy match. Rodriguez tagging in uh, Beth and then tagging out really quick. But Beth Phoenix getting the pinfall victory on Layla, Diva Champion, uh, with the um, Beth, whatever Beth's finishing move is, can't remember. The Glam Slam, that's what it is. And get the victory over uh, Layla. So expect a match at the pay-per-view between Beth Phoenix and Layla. And then... Oh, there was a confrontation between uh, Daniel Bryan and Punk and Kane. Danielson came out and then pretty much talked about uh, CM Punk. Punk came out. They went back and forth. Kane came out. And then AJ came out and caused all the drama to happen. And then Laurinaitis came out and announced that CM Punk and AJ will be teaming up with Kane and Daniel Bryan later tonight. Then we got Ziggler. We got the Fatal 4-Way match between Dolph Ziggler, Christian, Jack Swagger, and Greg Colley. And the winner will be facing Sheamus at the pay-per-view. And this was actually a tremendous match. All three competitors helped. It was an elimination match, which I did, which I did not pay attention to, because all three men pinned um, Kali, and then they said Kali's been eliminated. I'm like, oh, this is the elimination match. And then Christian did the I'm prettier on Swagger, but Ziggler got the pin on Swagger, 
and then went down to Ziggler and Christian, and then they put on a pretty good match, and it was excellent match, excellent match actually, and Sheamus, I mean sorry, Ziggler got the pinfall victory over Christian, and a lot of near falls before the finish happened, and you'll be seeing Sheamus versus Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship on pay-per-view now, even though Ziggler has lost, I believe, three times to Sheamus, two in the past week, once on Friday Night SmackDown, two weeks, two SmackDowns ago, and last week on Raw, cleanly, so yeah, but uh, then we got a segment backstage where Mr. McMahon was dancing with Naomi and uh, Cameron because they won, Naomi and Cameron won Brodus Clay, Brodus Clay back on Raw. And then we have another segment with uh, McMahon and Cena as McMahon, as Cena trying to urge McMahon to get John Laurinaitis fired. And then we got a match between Ryback versus local competitors, as it says right here, in typical Ryback match. And Ryback got the victory. Oh, and I forgot to mention it backstage early in the show. Big Sh when R Truth was doing interview, Big Show came and knocked out R Truth, and in the rumors he's saying that uh, he had a foot injury, so I guess that's how they wrote write him off TV. And then Kofi came to his defense and uh, called up Big Show, and uh, pretty much got a steel cage match versus Big Show later tonight, and that was the match that we have here: Big Show versus Kofi Kingston in a steel cage match, and pretty much. Kofi had his moments. He get the trouble in paradise. Looks like he was big, be Big Show, but what that wasn't to be. And but Big Show beat up Kofi and got the victory, and uh, that was pretty much it. So yeah, huge momentum going for Big Show going into this Sunday's pay per view. Then we got a match between Sin Cara and Kurt Hawkins, and this is the second week. The man who saved WrestleMania 28 not once but twice, Kurt Hawkins, is on Raw for the second week. And, um, Cigar beat him. What more do you have to say? Then we got Heath Slater come out and call, saying that he will be challenging the person that Laurinaitis has in the back. A, a past main eventer on Raw. And it was a big surprise. And Heath Slater saying, it's his time, this is his moment, it's his time. And guess, lo and behold, the music hits, it's time. It's time. It's Vader time. Vader comes back. Z um, Ziggler, Slater and Vader put on a great match. I think it was about six minutes, and uh, Vader got the victory over Slater. So that was pretty fun to watch. And then we got the match between CM Punk and AJ versus Daniel Bryan and Kane. And this was just a chaotic match. Punk, start Kane started off, but Kane tagged in Daniels. Then Daniels and Punk went at it, and then Daniels tagged in Kane. And then Kane beat up CM Punk. Punk was about to go for a tag. He realized it was just AJ. Then accidentally tagged in AJ. AJ came in. Kissed Kane for about, well, made out slash kiss for like about three minutes. It was like Kane was just standing there and AJ was making out with him. And I was just like, huh? And then Kane just tagged Brian and left out, walked down the aisle. Then AJ tagged in Punk. Punk did the elbow on Bryan and got the victory. So CM Punk has pinned Daniel Bryan via elbow, not even GTS. And then this is just a whole weird storyline going to the pay per view, which I'm actually interested in, surprisingly. And it's been pretty fun to watch. And then we got the main segment uh, Laurinaitis coming out, then McMahon coming out, and then about to fire John Laurinaitis because he has security guards around to escort him out of the building. Then Big Show comes out and defends John Laurinaitis, and he's able to do anything, and he has an ironclad contract, and if he gets fired, he'll be paid at home, So, and McMahon is not known for doing that, so yeah. And then Cena comes out, and then Cena and Big Show get into a brawl, and McMahon announces that uh, if Big Show loses, he will be sitting ringside at the pay-per-view, and if Big Show loses against Cena, uh, Laurinaitis will be fired on the spot. So another stipulation where... Uh, if Laurinaitis loses, he'll be fired. And then Big Show is about to now knock out Cena and then knocks out Mr. McMahon, and that's how the show ends. So overall, pretty good raw, a lot of a lot of good points, but there are some low points, but 
pretty fun show to watch and a good lead up to the pay-per-view this Sunday. What am I, 10 minutes in this video? Uh, I'll be doing my preview to No Way Out uh, probably tomorrow or Thursday. So check out for that. And that is my Raw review for this week's Raw. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And that is all. That's it.